Try and get your eyes and cameras pointing in the right direction so you get to enjoy the full spectacle. Well, the Red Arrows are a military unit of around 120 personnel, all who volunteer to join the team. While us pilots wear red suits, our support sections wear blue suits. We call them the Blues, and it's those guys who work tirelessly to make sure our busy summer season is a success. Primarily made up of engineers, but we do have photographers, suppliers, administrators, and drivers, all who help represent the ground trades within the Royal Air Force. One of those blues is one of our administrators. He's Sergeant Buzz Matthews, and he is the senior non-commissioned officer in charge of the human resources of all the Red Arrows personnel. Now, we're joined here at Eastbourne today by Buzz's son and daughter, Owen and Daisy. So a big hello to you. And they're with their grandparents, Joan and Roger. So a very good afternoon. Hope you enjoy the display. The jets are airborne from Manston Airport. They're aiming to be here on time for 3 o'clock to start the display. We have three types of show we can fly depending on the weather. Our full display allows looping maneuvers, our rolling display allows formation barrel rolls, and our flat display is essentially a series of bends in different formation shapes. Red One will make the decision based on the cloud base on the run-in to start the display this afternoon. Well, what you're about to see is a demonstration of speed, agility and precision, which are key traits of the Royal Air Force. And it's the Red Arrows role to showcase the excellence of our service. Our other roles include defence diplomacy worldwide, assisting in recruiting for the British military and supporting British industry. We are very proud and honoured to represent the very best of British, both at home and overseas. Now, our Hawk aircraft have to undergo a series of modifications to become Red Arrows aircraft, specifically with the ability to produce smoke, and some of our fleet have not yet undergone that modification. So Red One's jet today will not have a smoking capability, so only eight of the aircraft will be producing smoke, but we've designed the display to cater for that. On my watch, we've got about 30 seconds to run. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, lots and lots of clapping and cheering and lots of waving when I tell you so the pilots can see it. Red One's going to start with a full display, ladies and gentlemen, so you get to see all the looping maneuvers here in the sunshine. And here they are, a big round of applause. The Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows. Short sure, time. Red One pulls them up into a loop at 400 miles an hour as the jets reach a height of 6,000 feet or one mile above us. You can see Reds 8 and 9 have now tucked in to form the famous Red Arrows Diamond 9 shape. The jets have now slowed down to about 150 miles an hour where maintaining close formation is a little bit harder as the jet controls are slightly less responsive. Red One is squadron leader Jim Turner. It's his second year leading the team. He was a wingman with the Red Arrows from 2005 to 2007, and he led the synchro pair. Jim is a former Jaguar weapons instructor and Jaguar display pilot. Now listen in on their radio calls as Red One gives his commands. The smoke comes on as Reds 2 and 3 acknowledge the move to Eagle, the three aircraft on each wing, now drop back to show us the plan form of the American fighter jet, the F-15 Eagle. We put this in the display this year to say thanks to the Americans and the support they showed during the Battle of Britain and the Second World War on the Eagle squadrons. From the right now, this is the Eagle roll. And roll. As the canopies come towards us, boys and girls, give the pilots a big wave.
And we fly the majority of our formations with the odd-numbered pilots on the left-hand side and the even-numbered pilots fly on the right-hand side. Red 6 and 7, the synchro pair, tend to fly directly behind the leader in line astern. On the bottom of the formation now is Red 4. He's Flight Lieutenant Martin Pert. He's in his second year with the Red Arrows and he is the team's executive officer. He's a former Hawk flying instructor and solo Hawk display pilot. Operationally, he flew the Harrier GR9. The smoke goes off to form a new shape. This time it's on the iconic supersonic airliner and they're about to come left with some red, white and blue and hopefully a huge round of applause as they show you the very best of British in Concorde. Well, this year it's the 70th anniversary of Operation Chastise, which was the famous Dambusters raid carried out by 617 Squadron on the night of the 16th of May, 1943. Those brave airmen flew their 19 Lancaster bombers deep into enemy territory to drop their bouncing bombs and complete their mission. With the smoke on now, you can see the team are forming the shape of a Lancaster bomber. And now in from your left-hand side, celebrating 70 years since the Dambusters, this is Lancaster. One of our pilots has completed a tour with the famous Dambusters squadron. Red 3 is Flight Lieutenant Mark Lawson, and he's on the leader's left wing right now. He's in his first year with the Red Arrows, and he completed his first tour in the Royal Air Force flying with 617 Squadron, where he flew his Tornado GR4 over Iraq and Afghanistan. He then transferred to 9 Squadron, again flying over Afghanistan, and also over Libya in 2011. To our right-hand side, the smoke's on forming a new shape. This is our tightest shape. The jets in this formation are around five to six feet apart as they fly the Apollo roll. Another big wave, boys and girls. On the leader's right wing now is another of our first year pilots. That is Red 2, Flight Lieutenant Ollie Parr. Ollie's another former Tornado GR4 pilot and he has completed a tour as a Hawk flying instructor at RAF Valley where we train our fast jet students on the Hawk. Smokes on to form another shape, this time Typhoon, aimed to depict the Delta Wing platform of the Royal Air Force's new multi-role combat aircraft, the Eurofighter Typhoon. We now have four frontline squadrons of Typhoons, whose primary duty it is to protect the airspace of the United Kingdom and the Falkland Islands. But now in from our left-hand side, at 400 miles an hour, about to pull up at four times the force of gravity, this is the Typhoon Loop. One of our pilots is a former Typhoon pilot, Red 9. Flight Lieutenant Mike Child is just moving to the far side of the formation as we look at it now. Mike's in his second year with the team. He's another former Hawk flying instructor and solo Hawk display pilot. And then he was transferred to the Typhoon where he flew on quick reaction alert duties protecting our airspace. Once again, the jets have slowed down to 150. They're now accelerating back up to 400 miles an hour as the G builds up in Signet. Oh. 
In the middle of the left-hand wing, as we look tail on, is the last of our first-year pilots. That is Red 5 Flight Lieutenant Steve Morris. Steve is another former Hawk flying instructor, and he was then posted to the Harrier GR9. Unfortunately, only spent a short time flying the aircraft before it was taken out of service, and he transferred to the Tornado GR4, where he flew over Libya in support of Operation LME in 2011. You see the smoke's back on now. Red 6 and 7 move to their respective sides of the formation to show us Big Vixen, which is named after the 1960s naval fighter, the Sea Vixen. We've just transferred to a flat display to finish the first half. Now in from your right 45, this is Big Vixen. Right. Now. Hold Well, that's the end of the first half of the Red Arrows display, ladies and gentlemen, where you've seen close formation with nine aircraft flown in a rather dynamic fashion. We're now going to change the tempo of the display as we show you how this Hawk aircraft can perform. We're flying the BAE Systems Hawk T1, which was designed as an advanced jet and weapons trainer, and it's been in service with the Royal Air Force since 1976. It's very agile and precise, and we're about to show you why all of us pilots love to fly it. We're going to be splitting the formation into two now. Reds one to five. We call Enid after Enid Blyton's famous five. And Reds six to nine are Jippo, which was the nickname of the first gentleman to lead the four ship when the Red Arrows started flying nine ship displays in 1968. Out to the front, the team are forming a shape called Feathered Arrow. That's a mouthful to say on the radio, so we shorten it to Fred. So out to the front, get your cameras ready for a new maneuver for 2013 to start the second half of the display. Pulling up at 400 miles an hour in Fred. And pulling up. Coming left. Oh. Enid go right and Jippo go left. This is the 5-4 split. Keep looking at Enid, they're about to form a shape called Leader's Benefit, which is like the front wing of the Lancaster bomber we showed you earlier. I'll talk a little bit more about 617 Squadron now, and that squadron was formed in only March 1943, just two months before the Dambusters raids took place. That was at our home base of RAF Scampton in Lincolnshire. But during the Second World War, the six series squadrons belonged to specialist units like 617 Squadron, but nowadays those six series units belong to the Royal Air Force Reserve Squadrons. The Royal Air Force Reserves truly supplement the regular Royal Air Force services. If you'd like to find out more about them, then you can search online for RAF Reserves or why not visit their stand here in the military village at Eastbourne. Now look directly to your front and get your cameras ready for Jippo and the Detonator. With his smoke on to the right hand side is Red Six and leader of the synchro pair, Flight Lieutenant Chris Lyndon Smith. It's my these third and final year with the team. He's a former Tornado GR4 pilot and Hawk flying instructor. On the right, he is chased down by Red Nine. And if you look to your left, with the smoke on his Red Seven, chased down by Red Eight. These four aircraft are now descending to just 100 feet above the sea. They're closing at over 850 miles an hour. Get your cameras ready now for the amazing Jippo Pass. <laughs> the 
the synchro pair leave their smoke on and now turn away from us at 6G or six times the force of gravity, meaning everything in these pilots' bodies weighs six times more than normal. They fight hard to counter those G-forces as they fly the cyclone. As the synchro pair slingshot out to our front, look to your left for Enid. The wings of Enid drop down to form an inverted V shape. If you look to your right towards Beachy Head, you'll see a lone aircraft. That's Red 9. He's about to fly in between Enid's V as they complete the goose. You may have seen a panel hanging out at the back of Enid's jets there. That's the air brake, and we use that to create drag to slow the aircraft down. A secondary effect of having the air brake out is the need to have a higher power setting to maintain speed. And in turn, that gives us a very deep red and blue color in our smoke, as you can see as Enid climbs steeply to our right. Look directly to the front now for the synchro pair, pulling up at 500 miles an hour at five times the force of gravity in line astern. The jets reach a height of 7,500 feet. And behind that cloud, they're putting their smoke on and they're drawing a heart. You should see them pop out to complete the bottom of the heart. You may get a good glimpse as this gap increases. Now, we were lucky enough to meet a young chap on Friday when we were all here. And that gentleman was Josh. And it's Josh's ninth birthday today. So a very happy birthday to Josh. And Josh, this heart is for you on your birthday. Congratulations. Drawing a spear through the heart, which you can't quite see with the cloud, is Red 8. He's Flight Lieutenant Ben Plank. He's in his fourth year with the team. He's a former Hawk flying instructor. And Harrier G9 pilot. And he led the synchro pair last year. Back down to 100 feet, the synchro pair come for the double rolls. Now, right 45 degrees at 1,000 feet, Enid have been joined by Red 8 and 9. <coughs> Just see the smoke on there as Red 1 pulls them up at 4G in 7 ship Vixen formation. Coming. Now. He's now twisting this loop towards us through 90 degrees in what's known as a quarter clover. Holding the back. Now. Now get your cameras ready as they come out of the cloud on the good bit, ladies and gentlemen. This is the vertical break. Looking left and right again now for the synchro pair. This time red six is on our left and red seven is on our right. They're closing at 800 miles an hour and they're going to cross three times in opposing 360 degree 6G turns. Get your cameras ready for the carousel. Notice how each of these pilots swaps their smoke color as they cross three times in this carousel. They're using the individual smoke color buttons on the aircraft's control column. Now look to your right 45 degrees where you'll see Enid 
and get your cameras ready for another new manoeuvre for 2013. Reds 1, 2, 3 and 5 form box formation and watch now with the red smoke on. Red 4 will roll around the rest of Enid eight times as they complete a new manoeuvre called the Twister. Red 1 now makes it harder for Red 4 as he brings the formation round into a 3G right hand turn. Out. Red 4 working hard to maintain those tight rolls around Enid Smoke. And no doubt getting very dizzy as he finishes his eighth roll around Enid. Now keep looking left for Jippo and one of my favourite manoeuvres. Here we'll see red six and seven fly upside down in close formation. Reds eight and nine will roll around them in the corkscrew. Upside down they go, give them a wave as they fly past inverted. Red 7 working very hard there, flying only 8 feet away from Red 6's jet, doing it while he's upside down at 400 miles an hour. Now look to your left where you should see the five headlights of Enid. The inside pilots perform tight match rolls to the outside of the formation as they fly the rollbacks. Enid finished their very dynamic rollbacks. Now look to your front and get your cameras ready for the return of a crowd favourite manoeuvre. Reds 8 and 9 roll around 6 and 7 who perform their own rolls and split in the Jippo break. With his smoke on to the left hand side is Red 7 and Synchro number 2, Flight Lieutenant James McMillan. It's the second year with the team. He was brought up in New Zealand and joined the Royal New Zealand Air Force. When they disbanded their fast jet squadrons in 2002, he joined the Royal Air Force and became a Hawk flying instructor and Harrier GR9 pilot. So the Synchro pair now descend for their final manoeuvre of the display. This is the Opposition Barrel Roll. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a big round of applause for the fabulous Synchro pair. And now look directly to the front for Enid 8 and 9 and the display's finale. Back in seven ship Vixen formation, this is the Vixen break. We are the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red 